Now, marijuana edibles, it's one of the fastest growing industries in Colorado. The makers of edibles, they cannot keep up with the demand. Well, one Colorado cannabis comp company, uh, Dixie Elixirs, is going big. The now's Kristen Scovera with a rare behind the scenes look at one of the biggest pot factories in Colorado. Step inside the industrial kitchen at Dixie Elixirs, and you have to admit, it kind of reminds you of this. Yeah, we can handle this, okay? But this is Colorado's largest maker of marijuana infused products, so you might not want to try this. Joe Hodas took me on a grand tour of their new headquarters, located just north of Denver in Commerce City. Probably almost quadrupled our size here. The state of the art facility is built with transparency in mind. They can come and actually see what we're doing literally as we're doing it by looking through the windows. But even with their open air policies, many people are still concerned these pot products pose dangers to consumers and look too much like candy for comfort. A lot of new rules and regs coming down the pipe. Rules like limiting the dose on each individual piece. That limit will be capped at 10 milligrams per piece moving forward. And making the packaging child resistant before the products ever hit the shelves. A lot of stuff that edibles companies are going to have to adapt to. The building is still under construction, but Joe tells me they'll be celebrating their grand opening September 19th. If we're not fully moved in by then, i got bigger problems to worry about. <laughs> All right, Kristen is here with us now. And Kristen, I mean, my question is, why are edibles in such high demand? Well, according to Dixie Elixirs, two reasons. Smoke has carcinogens, so people want to stay away from that altogether. Right. And also, marijuana users say that eating an edible is a completely different experience. It takes longer to feel the effects, but the effect is longer. Right. Um, and some would argue better. I, I, I wouldn't know. But. Well, <laughs> well, look, you mentioned this in your story, and protecting the public from an overdose and and realizing how much marijuana you're getting, that has to be the number one priority. Yeah, and they say that moving forward, and a lot of those pieces I showed you, they were a little big. These are right. going to have to be smaller, something that you can break down. Um, I don't know, like a Kit Kat bar. And uh, 10 milligrams of THC, that's it. That's it, that's the most. All right, Kristen, thanks a lot. Well, right now, people in our state are sending out massive amounts of pot through the mail. 493 pounds of marijuana was seized last year, going from Colorado to other parts of the country. That's up from just 57 pounds three years earlier. I guess people think uh, it's legal here, so I can send it out legally to other places. Well, that is not the case. The top three destinations, well, Florida, Maryland, and Illinois. And right now, as I said, marijuana is still illegal in those states. Let's get